Hey guys, it's Rachel and this is going to be my first how-to video. Just because this is a how-to video though, it does not mean that I am going to be showing you how to do something. I am going to be doing a how-to video because I am trying to teach myself how to do something. I am attempting to make more paintings and I have this one painting in mind and it's going to be like this big. It's a huge canvas. There's a couple things that technique wise I don't know and I don't understand so I am going to attempt to do multiple different types of techniques on one canvas before I actually start painting it on that one. This how-to video is me figuring out how to paint clowns not clowns, clouds with acrylic paint. I've looked up on Pinterest multiple different ways on YouTube, but I've looked up a little couple tutorial videos and I have a couple ideas of like maybe ways that I can get that done. Um, so I'm just gonna try to do like patches here and there of different techniques that I've seen people do and then I'll try to figure out which one I like the best of, which one I think is easier, which one actually looks the way that I wanted my clouds to look and then I can actually apply that what I've learned here to my big canvas. So let's get started. Today I decided I'd try four different techniques. Um, the first one that I tried was a simple dry brush, tiny little bit of paint, and I saw the person just kind of like spread it. And granted, part of me feels like people were saying acrylic when, I don't know. I, don't, I can't get acrylic to do what people online say acrylic does because the dry paintbrush should have melded good with the canvas and I already prepped the canvas and everything. and. Yeah, it came out very like grid-like because you can see all the areas where the canvas spots are. Not near as smooth as what they've done. Second one that I did, I did the technique where I've seen people just not even worry about what was underneath being as part of the cloud because they would just take one shade that was dark, one shade that was light, and then have a couple in between and then it was like they worked from dark to light and adding like textures all throughout. I didn't really care for this style just because it seems kind of blocky. Like it seems like I'm almost stamping a cloud into the sky and it's like uh, not all clouds look like that. Sometimes they do. Sometimes it looks like it could be a giant sticker but the clouds that I'm kind of trying are supposed to look fluffy and light-ish. Like I, I'm, they don't have lines <laughs> that define where the bottom of the cloud is. The third one I tried, that one was just trying to do a similar thing to the green one but blend it a little bit better instead of trying to keep it so choppy, dark to light. I wanted it to kind of be a gradual thing and it still looks like a giant stamp. The fourth cloud that I tried, um, I tried the same technique as the first cloud but I was trying the white on top of color and I was trying to see if that was going to make a difference. And I think it kind of did because it was acting different on an actual layer of thick paint than it was on just the canvas of like the prepped canvas. It still is a giant stamp. It's not as blended in as I'd like it to be. And I think that's just something where with acrylic, I might not be getting the desire I'm not, I'm not able to unlock that. <laughs> like, I feel like I'm not leveling up in this area. It was nice, I think, to try out different things that I saw people doing. I didn't see too much variety. It was either the, the, the dry brush painting or they were like hand lining everything in. So it was kind of just the two methods. But I tried it a couple times, tried changing it up a bit, and it's still, none of these clouds are what I'm looking for. <laughs> Oh well, trial and error, and I figured out what I don't want. Some of these styles would work for certain style paintings. This painting I have in mind, I'm like, no, it's gotta be perfect. Of course, I'm a perfectionist. <laughs> 
Thank you for joining me in today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to see more of my videos, click that girl subscribe button. Watch all the other videos I have. If you want to see more of my actual artwork, go ahead and click that link in the description. It'll take you right to my Facebook page, and that's where all of my stuff's going to be updated. My two web comics, Instagram posts, all that jazz. If you guys want to support me on Patreon, I know that this is not exactly the best rendition of like, hey, I'm an artist, support me. <laughs> I'm a learning artist still. So go ahead and click that second link in the description. That's going to take you right to my Patreon page. And I would love your support. Thanks for watching this week's video. I will see you guys next time for another art adventure.